Here we have a rectangle with a length of four and a width of one. This point is on this side. And here we have a right triangle. Now we have to evaluate this angle. Hmm. Simple and easy. What shall we do? Of course, now the rectangle has a width of one. So now I like to construct the height of this right triangle from this point. This is of course also one. So now, what can we do next? Here we have four. Here we have a right triangle. Now, I like to search the midpoint of our this four, of our this length. I found it here is the midpoint of our this line. Now, connect these two points. We know that this is a midpoint of our this line segment. So that means these two pieces are equal because their sum is four, so they are two and two from here to here. Now, my question is, how long does this pink line segment measure? Look, this is a right triangle. And we know that the length of the median of the hypotenuse is equal to the half of the length of the hypotenuse. So that means this line segment does measure two. These three pieces are always equal. So their length are always equal in any right triangle. Not in any triangle, but in any right triangle. Understand? Okay, very good. Now, try to focus on this right triangle. How long does this angle measure? Hypotenuse is two, and its opposite right angle side is one. If I note, this as theta. Now it's much better. So we know that the sine of theta equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So it is 1 over 2. Of course, it is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. All of us know that theta is 30 degrees. Now, let's concentrate on this triangle. On this what triangle? Right triangle? No, 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 of course not. An isosceles triangle, because these two angles are equal. Why? Why are they equal? Because these two sides have the same length. Therefore, it is an isosceles triangle. This angle is 30 degrees. We can evaluate this angle 150 and 180 minus 150 is 30 and 30 over 2 is 15. Or you can do it in this way. The sum of these two angles is just equal to 30. And 30 over 2 is 15. So the value is 15 degrees. Give a like to the question, give a like to the method, and don't forget to subscribe to me. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.